All right, well, for today's project, I've already kind of started putting a 5,000 pound winch here in the trailer. Badlands from Harbor Freight. This is the, uh, the one mounting bracket they send with it, which I'll show you exactly what all I'm doing. But somewhere, I already marked those to drill through the floor. Figure I'll put it about there so I can put the battery and whatnot behind it. And uh, pretty much got it centered up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just gonna get underneath here and check to see what's under here. I've got, I've got some like plate steel. So maybe like a quarter inch thick that I'm gonna put up underneath for, for the support underneath. I picked up all that stuff this morning at um, at Lowe's, and I got the winch from Harbor Freight yesterday. Uh, it's like 179. Got a Corvette to pick up tomorrow. That's in op. That pays a quite a bit amount. Of, amount of money it's in op and it comes with a spare motor on like a, a cart so um getting prepared for that this is a new program I'm working with i worked with them last week and uh it was a load of the austin healy and the land cruiser and then she just kind of was like hey i got these other loads are you interested in any of them and just so happens a one is up near my old house and goes down to Florida and it pays really good. So I paired it with a brand new BMW that's going to go in the back on the way down to Florida. I'm trying to get a um, another little parser of like a kid's ATV I've been messaging the guy about from Pennsylvania to Florida as well. But uh, he's kind of been not haggling me, just like not committing to being able to pick up tomorrow so I can, so I can head out. But... I'll show you guys the winch here. We're just gonna get everything put together and I'll show you what we come up with. So I ran into not a bit of a snag, but so this, let me get down here. I'm trying not to get too dirty right now. This beam runs all the way back to there. So my bolts, there'd be one, they would go into the beam. So we might have to off center it over here to this side, which I'm not gonna be too upset about. Because I watched a video, um, I really just watched the video to just see what bolt size the guy used. But, so I have it off center over there right now. If I would put it right in the center, those bolts would hit that beam. And I saw somebody get away with only putting two in, but I would rather have all four. So I think I'm just going to off center it and just leave it at that. Now, the only thing you have to worry about when off-centering off -centering a winch like that is your cable is going to want to be pulling to one side. So, if you're pulling from, like, dead center on the car, all your cable is going to end up on this inside. Like, So, you just have to make sure when it's rolling up. Because what happens if it gets rolled too tight on one side, you'll never be able to free spool that winch again and uh, end up messing up the cable. You can wind it back out with the remote, but it'll be all tangled up and it'll be a pain in the butt. I actually had one that got bound so tight the first time I used it, which cost me like 600 bucks because it got bound so tight. I actually had to cut the cable out because it got so, so bound up because it was that big 48 foot enclosed and just that whole pulling distance. I had a wireless remote and I wasn't paying attention. Spooled it up so much that it, um, Actually, I had to take a grinder and cut through the cable to get it out. And the, the winch is still torn apart. I've never put it back together, which is on my list of things to do. But for now, we'll work on this one right here. All right, so I'm currently headed to Walmart. Um, the reason being, I like to run a deep cycle marine battery with my winches. Uh, they seem to last longer in between charges. It's kind of what they're made for is to hold a charge for a longer time um so i'm getting a I, I get a deep cycle marine one and walmart seems to be the cheapest place that has them uh, and of course walmart's battery warranty is is nice because they really don't give you any as long as you like keep your receipt they don't really give you any crap if you have an issue and it doesn't last like it should and um so i use those because they seem to pull more power for longer um, without like getting hot or anything like that. And then, um, you know, and they, they last longer in between charges. So we're going to head there and get the biggest one they have. My local Walmart doesn't have it. I'm going to have to go like 
20 minutes the other direction to get one but that's not too bad because uh, i want to get that all set up and make sure everything works because like i said earlier one of the cars that i'm hauling uh picking up tomorrow to head to florida on tuesday is uh is an in-op i don't think it's i think it's just a roller so the engine's out of it and it's going to be on a separate uh like dolly or something it says it has wheels we can roll it right in the trailer so um we'll see how much this ends up costing us at walmart all right so i'll try to flip the video around here and let's see if it'll focus there's the battery from walmart to never start deep cycle marine just getting all the wiring i'm just got to clean all this up and get everything hooked up make sure it works and we'll Find a way to clean it up, get a little box, a little battery box for that. But for now, just making sure everything works. So the winch is wired up. All I need to do is get a battery box to kind of conceal everything in. I'll probably fasten that to the floor um, just to keep everything, you know, nice and neat in that trailer, just to look professional. But it's getting a little chilly out now, and I just uh, just tested the winch, had to, uh, stop and help my future father-in-law do a little little farm in this afternoon so i'm just now getting i don't even get to watch any football today so uh we'll use the winch tomorrow you'll see that in the next video we'll see what happens uh, but i'm pretty confident with my plate steel i got under there and uh just out here just out here enjoying that view for the night so come on dog we'll see you guys tomorrow